Welcome to 8.2. Here we're going to be multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. Uh, and then we're also going to be solving some equations that involve the products of monomials and polynomials as well. So let's get right into our first example. Um, in order to find a product of a monomial and a, a polynomial, what you're going to do is you're just basically going to be using the distributive property. So we're going to distribute this monomial on the outside through each term in our polynomial. So we're going to take our 6y times our 4y squared, 6y times our 9y, and 6y times your negative 7. So the rules are simple. Uh, you will multiply any of the coefficients and then with your exponents you actually add them. So you're going to multiply your coefficients and you're going to add your exponents. So let's take 6y times your 4y squared. So you multiply 6 times 4, that's going to give you a 24. And then for your exponents, we're going to have to add, you have a y to the first, 1 plus 2 gives you a y cubed. And then we're going to take 6y times your negative 9y, so 6 times the negative 9 is a negative 54, or you can put minus 54. y to the 1 plus, you have a 1, so y squared. And then finally, 6y times a negative 7 gives us negative 42 y to the first. You can put your 1 up here if you want, but you don't have to. So this is your solution for example 1a. Let's do the same thing on b and we're going to introduce a couple extra um, variables. So we're going to take negative 4xy times your 5x squared and then so that gives us negative 4 times a 5 because you have to multiply your coefficients and then we're going to take our x's and we're going to add those and then your y's you're going to add. So we're going to multiply all these through. You have three terms inside your parentheses, which means you're going to have three terms in your final answer. So after you multiply those through, we're going to get negative 4 times a 5 is negative 20. Now your exponents you have to add. So you have x to the first, x squared. So you have an x to the third. Now we have a y to the first on the outside, but we don't have any y's here. That's OK. That y just comes and tags along. So let's do our second term. So negative 4 times a negative 12. That's going to give us a positive 48. x to the first, x to the first. So we add the 1 plus 1 gives us a 2. Same thing for your y's. And then finally at the end, negative 4 times a 7 is going to give us a negative 28. Uh, we don't have any x's to add. So we have just our x from the outside. Then we have a y to the first, y to the second gives us y cubed. That is how you multiply a monomial times a polynomial.